The oh, scan is here. Flying low over people's homes, scanning the ground with that green laser. Welcome back. I'm Chris Safadi. And I'm Lois Tomey. So what does this plane, what is it doing? A Wake News anchor Annette Montgomery joins us in the studio. And Annette, what did you learn? Well, Chris and Lois, I learned who it's not after reaching out to everyone from the city of Cape Coral to the county to the Florida Division of Emergency Management to the South Florida Water District and Port Authority. Now, these low-flying planes with green lasers does not belong to them. One neighbor got so fed up, she purchased a flight radar to help narrow down the search for the owner. It's not something you see every day. Oh, geez, it was, uh, I mean, it went back and forth. At least... I would say 40 minutes to an hour. But for people living in Cape Coral, they've been seeing it a lot this week. It was really late at night. It was kind of around midnight. It was around midnight. Um, I, was, I was actually in my car. I was just getting home, and I saw it going back and forth with a laser beam. It was it scanned over me multiple times, and it was just moving. It was scanning the whole area, every square footage, basically, going just forth. That low-flying plane was in Casey Sutton's neighborhood for hours Sunday night. Philip Bertolio saw it the same day, but a few hours earlier while watching the Super Bowl game. 